Officially, the global leader in solar adoption is Hungary. Officially, they are leading the world. But this comes with an asterisk because one other country, a country that um, you would not expect is unofficially destroying even places like Australia and California when it comes to the adoption of solar. So I just discovered that Hungary in Europe is the global solar leader. How on earth is this possible? I'm thinking to myself, doesn't it, isn't it kind of cold there? You know, not in the summer, but you know, it gets cold there. I don't think it's that sunny. So I looked this up. Hungary, the global leader in solar, they average around 2,000 sunshine hours a year. California gets 3,000. Australia gets 3,000 to 3,500 on average. But looking at peak sun hours per day, Hungary gets around three, uh, California and Australia around six hours a day. In other words, Australia and California get twice as much sun as Hungary, and yet Hungary are beating us when it comes to solar adoption. That's kind of wild. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you can help the channel by becoming a YouTube member, that would be unreal. I'll put a link in the description below. How Hungary became the world's solar energy leader? Well, the Progress Playbook says that Hungary has quickly become the world leader in solar integration thanks in part to generous government assistance programs, much like Australia. Solar accounted for 25% of the country's electricity generation in 2024, more than any other nation, according to data collated by research group Emba. Hungary actually overtook Chile last year to claim the top spot. The solar surge has been truly staggering. Theprogressplaybook.com says that in 2018, the technology made up just 2% of Hungary's solar power output. Importantly, solar's rise has come at the expense of coal. Coal power plants are just being shut down. The dirtiest fossil fuels share of the power mix in Hungary fell from 15% to only 6% over that same period, even as gas declined as well. And actually, coal power in Hungary is basically set to be eliminated within the next few years. In August 2024, a new monthly record was set when solar made up 37% of Hungary's electricity generation. I believe that in July of this year, that record was easily smashed. Hungary has above average solar potential, as I mentioned before, gets a lot less sun than places like California and Australia and probably Texas as well. But having above average solar potential would sound... Um, really contradictory, wouldn't it? But because it has average solar radiation of 1,280 kilowatt hours per square meter, it's actually not too bad for a European landlocked country. Authorities have harnessed the opportunity through a feed-in tariff program, whereby homes and businesses are paid a fixed price for any power that they sell into the grid and other incentives. So unlike Australia, where we don't really get anything for putting my electricity into the grid anymore. It's a very, very small amount of money. Um, Hungary is doing the opposite. Under the Solar Energy Plus program, for example, the government subsidized rooftop solar installations for 21,000 households. The scheme, which ran for one year, saw the state covering two thirds of the cost of a solar plus battery installation. The investment strengthened our country's energy sovereignty, security of energy supply, and protect the environment, said the government. And um, they're 100% right. It's a good decision. More than 300,000 small solar arrays with a combined capacity of 2.7 gigawatt, mostly on the roofs of family houses, are now operational in Hungary, including grid scale facilities. The country has 7.8 gigawatts of installed solar generating capacity as of the end of 2024, per the Energy Ministry. That, of course, this year, Hungary is aiming for closer to 30 to 35 percent solar use, which would clearly make them easily the leader worldwide. Policymakers want to lift that number of 7.8 gigawatts to 12 gigawatts by 2030 as part of their push to get to 90 percent 
emissions-free power by 2030, up from 74% in 2024. So uh, is this all good news? Well, the rapid growth behind the meter solar output is making things more challenging for the grid, as is the norm, which must constantly work to keep power supply and demand aligned. And that's where big batteries often come into play. The feed-in tariff scheme that made this happen has positioned Hungary as a leader in the region when it comes to renewable energy. But the negative prices, as in electricity prices go negative quite often, and the grid challenges also posed by this are an unwanted consequence, said Montel's Gabor Satsmari in a recent note on the electricity situation in the country, which is actually not so bad. There are challenges, but there's certainly challenges that can be handled. Price caps have partly helped solve the problem, but other incentives are needed to keep the imbalance or basically keep the balance correct in the market and functionally functioning optimally. Meanwhile, Hungary's stint at the top of the solar rankings may prove short-lived. Countries like Pakistan, where solar made up 26% of electricity use in February 2025, from 10% in the same month two years before, are on a steep growth trajectory. Now, the truth is we don't know the exact data from Pakistan, but um, this video is kind of false in a way because based on what we can guess, Pakistan's probably closer to 30 to 35%. And the reason I'd say that is because, honestly, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Pakistanis just buy solar panels straight from China and put up their own solar arrays. They don't even connect them to the grid. So we've got hundreds of thousands, if not millions of solar panels in Pakistan powering people's homes where these people don't have any electricity. They weren't connected to the grid and they've had to come up with their own solutions. So it's in countries like Pakistan where solar is actually growing even faster than it is in Hungary, which officially has the title for most solar, but unofficially, it's actually Pakistan that's leading the world. Who would have thought? Thanks for watching. Guys, I recently got a solar system installed on my roof, which is just insane. It's mind blowing. On many days of the year, it's given me enough energy to, to charge two Tesla Model Ys or two Xpeng G6s. The Xpeng G6 is the car that I'll be using. Uh, so my solar will be powering my EV. In fact, I'm about to pick it up this week, which is really, really exciting. But the efficiency of solar panels is skyrocketing. The records just keep getting broken. And what this means is that as the price of solar continues to fall, as it does, pay no attention to the media because their facts are just made up.